Governor Brad Little, President Trump, who is the true president still, and all the House and Senate of North Idaho and of the whole entire country in the world, I am telling you, read these prophecies of John Leary. They are a bit depressing for those who don't completely trust in God and uh, don't put their faith in God, but they're very, very enlightening to what's going on in our country with the inflation, with the illegal immigrants being bussed by Biden secretly in the night all over the United States to bring down our country financially with open borders, which is against God's law. We're supposed to have our own borders. <laughs> And all these other prophecies coming to light, how Biden wants to get rid of paper money by December 2022. I do think this is for the sins of abortion. And we've all shared a part in the sin of abortion because we didn't quit our lives to stop the war on abortion. We went off and sought money as Catholics, and we still are doing that today. We didn't uh, become people of the state soon enough. And by that, I mean the U.S. Constitution, by the people, for the people. We gave up and we put everything in the hands of these leaders and we didn't devote our whole entire lives to the church and the state and our country. So we're seeing our country fall. And we can't just point fingers. We really, and myself included, I spent a lot of time in L.A. I spent a lot of time uh, in college when I could have been more of an activist. I could have been, for example, trying to stop my parents' divorce. I could have quit my life sooner to stop the sins of abortion by the Holy Rosary. If your beads are breaking on the Holy Rosary, it's because Our Lady is telling you a sign, and that sign is that you're not praying the Rosary.